Now, sometimes this will happen. Uh, the internal matching in the Ahura will not be able to find a match. Uh, it's not that typical, but it happens sometimes. If we look at the spectrum, view spectrum, you can see that this scan has a lot of background fluorescence and a ton of peaks. And because the Ahura matches, uh, as far as we can tell, just based on peak locations, both of these things can make it very confused. So this is where our custom software comes in. Um, we actually have a completely different matching method. We can remove all that background fluorescence, so it's complementary to what the Ahura does. So uh, we've got two versions of the software. One works on your PC, and one works on your smartphone. So we'll start by showing off what the smartphone can do. So first we'll go back, press enter here, go down to export to card. You see it exports very quickly. This just takes the file, puts it into the SD card, which is uh, in here. Now we don't use a normal SD card, we use what's called a Toshiba Flash Air. The Flash Air actually has a tiny Wi-Fi server built right into the card, which means that you can actually access the files from any Wi-Fi um, active device. So what we can do is I can take out my smartphone here, get that powered up, go into my internet, uh, turn on Wi-Fi, and let's see. There's this Flash Air network. I've connected to it before, so it remembers the password. The password is just password, all lowercase. So if I go into my internet, and I go just to flashair.com, it will take me to this interface. And you can see there are all these folders here that just show what's on the card. Now if we look uh, here, we're in session one, scan nine. So I'll go into the session one folder, download scan nine. Now you notice there's also scan nine dash dark. There's a dash dark for every uh, file you upload. Uh, the dark just gives some background lighting information. It's not useful for our purposes, so just ignore it. So from here, you go into the Raman app, which we provide with every spectrometer. Click on that and press open CSV SPCRF. Uh, use the My Files app to uh, find the file. It's in internal storage under downloads. And we'll just scroll down. It's all in alphabetical order, so we just need to get down to the S's. Okay, and it's scan 9. Um, I've obviously uploaded a few different scan nines over the, uh, the past year or so. Uh, today's the 26th, so I know it's this one. Okay, so here is what the file looks like when um, we have it open here. You can see there's all this fluorescence. So the first thing we want to do is remove that. So up here you just can press remove background and normalize. So from there, you can see all that background's gone. It's just peaks, just perfect for matching. Press the back button on your phone. Open CSV, SPC, we did before. Now you press Match Raman Database. Now, depending on how quick your phone is, this may take a half a minute to load. Mine's a little old, you might notice, so it takes it about half a minute. Newer ones are much quicker, but it only uh, takes... The, it only takes time to load the uh, spectra into memory the first time. Uh, subsequent matching, you don't have to worry about that. It will match them instantaneously. And you can see, we've got our matches. And uh, the very top one here is Grandidiorite. And we click on that, and you can see, yes, this is a very good match. So this is a very handy tool for identifying even fairly obscure gems. So let's have a look at how to do this on the desktop app. So this is actually really straightforward. What we're going to do is first go to Wi-Fi, connect to the Flash Air server. As usual, the password is just password, all lowercase. It will take it just a moment to connect. So we can go to just type Flash Air in the URL bar up there, and it will take you right to the Flash Air. Once again, we're in session one, scan nine. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Save it into ROM and data. Okay, I've already downloaded a scan 9 before. We'll just overwrite it. Okay, let's open up the ROM and app. You'll see it looks pretty similar to how it is on the uh, smartphone. First, we're just going to click open. OK, 
Okay, it tells us the calibration, which uh, isn't important right now. Okay, so we want scan9.spc. And you can see it's got the same uh, background that we saw on the phone app. So we'll remove the background. Gives us a really nice flat spectrum. Oops. And this happens sometimes. The flash error will want to pop up a little while after you've uh, um, connected to it. Okay, now we, uh, we've removed background. Now we'll match database. This, uh, because the computer's processor is faster than the phone's, this goes a lot quicker. And you'll see Grand Didierite is a great match.